Yeah, my name is Russ Robinson, and I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi, and raised my children in Memphis, Tennessee. And that's where I started an e-commerce business. It was about 20 years ago, didn't have much money, and um, I was renting a room from a FedEx pilot and saw a need for a product that I knew that I could afford, but you just couldn't find one in the market for a fair price. And that kind of lit a fire under me to research that process and start a company, which I did now. Currently have about 200 employees. And I worked at that company for about 10 years before I hired my first employee. I love to travel, traveled extensively. And wherever I went, I would charter helicopters and I would usually tell them, I was like, hey, can we land down there on that pinnacle? Or can I go heli camping over there? And their answer was always, oh no, we don't have a permit for that. And eventually I kept asking, I was like, well, can private operators land down there? And they were like, oh yeah, private operators can land down there. I thought to myself, well, I'm just gonna become a private operator then. And I was in California and driving by Camarillo and saw the airport and that they took helicopter lessons and I swung into Orbic helicopters and asked them about the flights. Very next day, I started my first lesson, and about, I guess, 90 or 120 days later, I was licensed a pilot. And that was in the spring of 2020, right when COVID started. The helicopter market was a little bit weird because no one knew what that was gonna do to the economy. And I went out and bought a Bell 505 helicopter. It was a beautiful black machine, had about 200 hours. And the unique thing about helicopters is a lot of people know, and some don't, is just when you get your license, that's almost a license to kill yourself. Those things are a lot of responsibility. So I hired a full-time pilot to fly with me and we traveled all out through the West. One other unique thing about helicopters is when you have one that comes with a lot of friends. Maybe you didn't have the friends before, but once you get the helicopter, you have friends afterward. And the Bell 505 was a great machine, but I needed more power and I needed more seats. And that's when the H-130 Airbus that's behind me now um, came into my view. And the cool thing is we can land up at super high altitudes, 13.5 with you know five people and all the heli ski equipment. Or we can go mountain biking or camping up at those altitudes. And then primarily based out of Moab, Utah, the summer temperatures are super hot. So the density altitude's high and that machine has just been great for those missions. Typical day is we'll wake up early and we'll go canyoneering, slot canyoneering. Some people don't know what that is, where there's these unique, uh, very narrow canyons in the desert out here in the Utah area. And we'll land at the top of that and then we'll take our climbing um, equipment and we'll sometimes hike, climb, and s slide through those canyons for as much as eight or 10 miles. And then my pilot that I have that comes with me sometimes, he'll relocate the helicopter down in the canyon and we'll hike down to him. Same thing, we'll do mountain biking some days where we'll load the mountain bikes in the back of the helicopter and we'll go downhill or heli skiing in the Henry Mountains or the San Juan Mountains of Colorado. Really, my paradigm on life is that it's so short and so precious. And really, out here in Moab, Utah, it's crystal clear. This piece of petrified wood, you know, science says is 250 million years old. And we're just here in the blink of an eye. And so part of my motto is, gosh, don't be so afraid and don't be so trapped in a box that you live a certain way. There's so much to this life to see. You know, we see a lot of people that have businesses and they acquire this wealth and they show it off with, with fancy cars or watches or big houses. And what is unique about the helicopter, it's, it's not a cheap sport, but it does create these amazing magical memories. And it's, it's a tool that you can use to also share those memories and experiences with others.